Hello everybody. This next set of videos, there's going to be three videos, um, are about a family of crabs with a baby crab, a mama crab, and a papa crab. Um, I'm first going to prep out the small one, then the medium one, then the very large one. Um, so videos one, two, and three, this is video one. And there's a picture right over this way that's going to show you which three crab congregations I am prepping. So without further ado, roll that beautiful crab footage. This is the very beginning of the very first video, a video of uh, three different videos of a family of crabs. This is baby crab. We've got mama crab coming up and big monster papa crab coming up. But this is the one I'm going to start with. Um, you can see how this is the flatter side, almost kidney bean shaped or slightly. This is where the claws are at. This is the back of the crab. I'm assuming, and hopefully this is the flatter side. Well, that's a tough one actually, so hopefully this is the top of the crab. So, we're going to find out. And I will start by using the ME 9100 by Paleo Tools, my favorite tool of all time. Um, I've got a bigger air scribe that'll take rock off a heck of a lot faster, but with this small of a concretion, I'm not going to go ahead and try to damage that crab look at that always nice to find the carapace um, and I I always question that even though I would have bet money just because of the way the legs are flattened on one side and because this was just slightly flatter on the top I, I would have bet money this was the top anyways it, it worked out really good so that's the top so I'm gonna start taking more rock off around here and uh, get down to where I can start exposing this carapace that's my next plan of attack Got to do that all the way around, maybe a couple times, I don't know, but uh, I won't show you that because that gets kind of boring. I have been having the best luck lately with rock coming off the, the fossil. Uh, it's coming off like a dream, that's just pristine as can be. I didn't do nothing there, that's where the shell material kind of got crushed just a slightly bit, which is fine. But now I've got to take this rock down again uh, and just keep working my way down. You can see how the legs... Uh, there's quite a bit of rock there, and over here, there's even more. A lot of rock between these legs and the top of that rock, so I'm not going to bore you with uh, this rock removal, this stuff here. go around here two or three times before I can start exposing more crabs so it's boring but it's fun at the same time and gives me something to do just cruising along minding my own business and ran into this this color here and I thought this can't possibly be crab because it's almost the same color as the crab and it almost looks like it has texture on it but I put on my OptiVisor number 10 which brought me right down to the rock and I could clearly see it's just discolored rock so um, I panic, panic attack for nothing. So back to work removing rock. <laughs> There it is so far. Legs still way the heck down here. 
I don't know why those are so low, but they are. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Get real sticky back here. Not so sticky where I have to wear it off. Well, I may have to wear it off there pretty quick. Don't like doing that, but if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. Now I gotta take a bunch more rock off. <laughs> A lot of rock removed for that little machine. That little, and that's a medium sized one, not even a little one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, getting real sticky right here. Don't like it, but what do you do? All right, got even more rock removal to do. So, back to work. <laughs> two times now I can take off a little bit more and expose a little more shell but you can see I'm getting closer to the legs but there's still a fair bit of rock left there it should be coming up slightly in this direction and then coming down to this rear end and these ones I don't know why they're so much deeper that crab looks pretty level but there's a lot of rock left here those are pretty deep legs still so I get my butt back to work all right, my first real problem there, and here's a rock with a piece of shell on it. This rock has shell, well, it's on the shell, but it just wants to come off. It wants to take the shell, too, so let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Right there. And there's the little piece of rock with a little piece of shell on it. I'm going to try to get that back into place and then glue it on and just hope it works. So, wish me luck. I'll show you if that, what that looks like if I can get it done properly. All right. Besides getting glue all over the bottle, all over my hands. Jeez, what a freaking mess. Good glue, but my God, if it gets on you or anywhere, jeez, watch out. Run. All right, I just want to put a drop of glue on there and wherever it goes is where it goes. I just don't want to touch what I've done. Oh, boy, that's scary. Jesus, look at this glue all over my finger. Jesus, criminies. Ugh. freaking mess but the important thing is I think I, I think I'm gonna be able to oh, geez, I got glue on the camera my god I'm not kidding when I say I'm the one stooge not the three stooges the one stooge anyways uh, what fun I'm having anyways that's uh, that's got a cure that's about as far as I'm gonna get today okay exactly what I was afraid of very sticky right there so Pristineness has got to go away on that one. Always hate to do this, but it has to be done. can use the side of the skyline and just wear it off until you see color of the crab. <laughs> Biggest problem with that is that all these beautiful pustules on this carapace 
when you do that, those pustules, they're gone. They're there for, what, 15 million years, and then I come along and get rid of them. <laughs> Alright, I gotta do some concentrating to get rid of that stuff. First, I'm gonna just wear down the rock till it gets close to the crab, and then I'll very uh, methodically, with lots of concentration, very carefully just take all that off of there. So, here goes nothing. Took me almost half an hour. Boy, I was hurt on the shoulder. Just as tedious as that work is. Anyways, it looks like crap now. It won't look so bad when the crab is done and it's all sauced up, but <clears throat> that's the way I do it. Hit another tough spot right here. Got really sticky. Took some shell off. Some shell is cracked. Zoom in, you can see what the heck I'm talking about here right there so I got some glue not the cyanoacrylate the super glue the uh, stuff I mixed with acetone yeah, hold that from getting any worse I hope all right, now to take some more rock off around the uh, carapace. Holy cow, get a load of this. I was just taking all this rock off to get close to this so I could start taking that off, and the whole thing just cracked. The whole bloody thing. Get a load of that. Holy cow. The front is totally different than the back. Just releases as nice as you please, just like a dream in front, and absolute oh, butthole rock in the back. <sighs> Anyways, uh, boy, that's a big carapace for that little rock. I'm afraid those claws are going to be, ee, I don't know where they're going to be. How much room for these claws? Going to be probably going underneath the, uh, the face, it looks like. Good morning, everybody. New day, fossil prepping. Um, today, well, I hope, I hope that doesn't go anywhere, but I'm going to slowly take this off and just see how bad that area might be or how well I prepped it out or fixed it or I don't know. There goes nothing. Well, Not perfect, but besides a little bit more cleanup, it's the best I can do. So now I'm going to take this rock down at an angle, see if I can start finding some stuff, get my work my way to the rear end here, and 
See if I can start following these legs out. That's my plan of attack for today. All right, found the, uh, not the Propotus, not the Maris, the Carpus. That's the Maris right there, this is the Carpus. Uh, I'm gonna take all this rock down, see if I can find the uh, Propotus part. And, uh, man, hopefully it's real close to the outside of this rock, because it's gonna be close to the face of that crab. Oh, man. You may not have a face on this crab, I guess. coming off quite nicely. Can't complain about that. No way in tarnation. Oh my God, look what happened. Jesus, afraid to touch it. Jesus Christ, just had a blowout where this calcium, vein of calcium was going through there and into the crab shell it was really hard and it just blew. It was pieces of crab shell all over the top here. My god. Oh, that is... Oh, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I'm just gonna glue the crap out of this. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. I'm going to put some accelerator on that. Oh man, that just, ugh. Doesn't happen very often to these crabs, but man, it sure just happened. Oh man. So I'm gonna put all these little tiny pieces into a to a little jar if I can find one just in case I want to rebuild it but man those little pieces are just gonna break into little more pieces jeez all right I'll be back Just absolutely glued to the shell. Totally slows down the prep job, but that's what you gotta do. That's what I do, anyways. You guys can do whatever you want. Dynamite might speed things up. Man, get a load of that. So I was afraid of those. Pencils are going right underneath the face. And I'm assuming the other one too, because there's just not much room out here. But that's Mother Nature. Sweet Mother Nature gave it to me, so that's the way it is. Alright, now I'm gonna work on taking this rock down. Just to show you, there's still a ways to go to get to these legs. One, two, three, four. They look deep now. They won't look so deep when I take all the rock off, but eh, just more work. This is going to be a pretty nice crab, though.
Some places that rock comes off just quick. Whoop, Jesus, Ronald. Freaking dip rod. Sorry about that. Some places the rock comes off groovy. And other places it's just an absolute bear. But, slow but sure. I'm following this leg out here and I realize it's kind of hollow there and a little bit on this one too but just a little bit so I thought I would take some glue and just fill that up boy that is hollow. So, just so it doesn't fall apart when I get to the end, because I got this little tiny bit of rock left to take off. But I think I'll wait to do that later. I'll let that do some curing. So, uh, down here to find more leg. You betcha. Fingers are getting sore, geez. Anyways, there's one, two, three, four legs. Uh, this one's a bit crushed, a bit sticky, but it's going to be a leg, so that's good. You can see my thumb, that is. Okay, uh, I'm about ready to call it quiz. My finger is killing me. So, that's looking pretty good. I got to do that. I gotta do all this to that side tomorrow. Yeah, that's the ticket. All right, good morning. New prep day. Uh, today I'm gonna try to take off all this rock and see what kind of problems I either create or find. Hopefully they won't be as bad as that one. That's, that's pretty bad. Um, you can see this, I don't know if you can see it or not, a little bit of discoloration. A little browner here than anywhere else. I'm hoping the other side isn't like that, but uh, that brown stuff is is weird because in places it's really soft and in other places it's really hard. Bizarre, but the way it is, Mother Nature. All right, so let's get to work. I found a couple of legs these legs are stacked here so that's going to be tough these two this one here is probably this one right there um, there's a piece of crab shell if you can see that or not right there that's it's never good to find just a little piece of crab shell so I'm assuming it's part of this rear end which I don't know if it's complete or not it doesn't appear to be anyways uh, I'm do what I can, it is what it is, and as long as I'm prepping and having fun. <laughs> wow. I knew that was gonna pop off without taking shell. That's pretty, that's pretty dangerous to take off that much rock in one chunk without taking off any shell. So that was nice. So now I gotta do this one, this one. You can see these two. This one's pretty well on top of this one, but it's a little bit exposed over here on the left hand side. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some room there between the, um, not the propotus, the carpus of the, uh, you know, elbow part of the crab. And there, so I'll be able to dig down and expose some of that. So, it's looking good. It's getting rather worrisome. I hit this little dark spot right here, and then started following it, and it's just this line. I don't know what it is. Not a clue. Um, but if you look at this, 
and see how high this elbow is over here compared to, it's almost to the top of this carapace where this one uh, I'm beginning to wonder if it's got a left claw but there's more rock here than there is over here so I'm assuming it's just lower in the rock so um, that's what I'm pretty sure it is hope so be nice to find it so I don't have to worry about it anymore <laughs> anyways back to work find that thing Gotta be there somewhere. I don't know if you can notice this discoloration of this rock, so I'm assuming that, that it starts there. I, I don't know. Fingers crossed on this one. And there it is. Zoom in so you can see this. Maybe take the light here. Right there. So, does he have a left arm? Now I feel better. It's probably going to more than likely be going underneath the, the face like the other one, but I'd rather have it there than not there, you know what I mean? Alright, let's get back to work and expose that baby. coming off but it's pretty slow work heck it's nice to have it come off though instead of having to wear it off jeez all right back to that elbow all right taking all of this rock down here expose more of this elbow here I'm getting very, very close to this fourth leg, so I'll be able to expose just a little bit of it, that outer edge. So, at least I'll be able to expose it, or some of it. So, looking better. left propotus. I'm hoping that there's probably going to be a little bit of claw on that thing. So that'll really add to this crab. have a little bit of claw that's nice okay day number four for this my plan of attack today is to hopefully find some rear end here besides that little piece and then start cleaning this up get it ready for rock smoothing and see how much rock smoothing I can do so to work I go. Put muffler on my ME9100. Oh, and also, so far, this is the only tool I have used on this crab. I may use a smaller one uh, like this. You can see the difference in the sizes of the, of the tips here. Uh, quite a bit difference. Uh, plus, this one is what I call the whiner. Uh, I may use this in little tiny areas just to make it a little more detailed, but other than that this does 99.9% .9 of the work All right, I've gone ahead and removed a lot of rock right here Somewhere there's four prongs here making up a face. I Should know what those prongs are called, but I but I don't
Well, as you can obviously see, I've got to go deeper in the rock. These claws got to be underneath the face, so that face has to be very right there pretty quick. All right, get a load of this. There's the very beginning of its uh, eye socket. I don't even know what that's called. But that's where the eye stalk, if it has one, it's in, it's in here. There's another one over here somewhere. So the beginning of its face. stock should be. Now I'm going to take more rock down because there's a face there. I'm going to get it. Okay, now very shortly you should be able to see a face. or not. I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, there's the beginning of his face. Uh, almost the end. So I gotta take a little bit more rock off and then uh, do some fine detail work and get that face and hopefully find some eye stalks in these, these sockets. So, fingers crossed on that, those guys. So, there's his little face. This discoloration, which really looks like an eyeball at the moment, is just a very thin film of discoloration. I don't know what that is. Uh, this might be over here, might be a nice talk, but uh, when I clean all this up really nicely, is when I'll free those uh, eye stalks out. So right now I'm going to work my way around this claw, through these legs, into the back area here, hopefully find that rear end. Okay, worked my way my way around all the way to here. Took some rock off here, some here, some from there, some from here. There's two pieces of crab joint leg that's not here, and it's not here. And being that I'm going down lower than, ugh, I just don't think they're here. Mmm, terrible. So I'm gonna make one more pass at this, and just if I find them, that's great. And, super duper and if I don't find them that's just the way mother nature is so <laughs> what I did Jeez. clean up the face a little bit and this just little piece here popped right off I didn't even see where it went it was just gone so whether I can fix it or not it's so bloody small I don't know a little piece of putty and then carve it oh, Jesus man I might just acrylic it I don't know I'll figure it out when I get there but this baby is now ready for some rock smoothing that's about as well as I can 3d it so in about three hours yeah maybe four there's a lot of rock smoothing there not that there's a lot of rock there it's just everything is so tedious 
little small little spaces everywhere just time-consuming stuff but it'll really make this crab pop it's got enough problems as it is so it needs to pop so that's where I'm starting I'm gonna start from right here and clean up all these legs areas um, I cut my line and then I'm gonna take this line all the way to the leg that's how I do it. Well, sometimes. That's time consuming, but you can see how much nicer that looks. Smooth rock is better than leaving tool marks. Well, that's nothing but tool marks, but at least it's better looking tool marks. Put it that way. down to the last leg of this uh, prep job uh, no pun intended uh, finish up this one and then I'm gonna sauce this baby up and call it good There you have it. Not the best rock smoothing job, but it sure looks a heck of a lot better than it did. Now I'm going to sauce it up, call it good, and baby crab will be done. Got a lot of problems. Claws underneath the, the face. Not much of a rear end. Got a blowout. Uh, had some sticky areas. But I think mom and dad love him just the same. <laughs> Okay, got my little tiny art brushes. I've got a shot glass with a bunch of, well not a bunch, a little bit of uh, glyptol mixed with acetone. Uh, most people use Paraloid. I've been using this for geez, well, forever, 33 years. I still like it, so I still use it. do is coat it on the crab. Oh geez. You can paint by numbers, you can easily do this. Probably easier than me because I'm not as steady as I used to be. Man, it sure makes it pop. It holds everything together. It's good for stabilizing stuff. I mean, this crib has things that need stabilizing. This is going to make me feel better. So, I'll be back. Ta-da! There's baby crab. With all its problems. Not too bad really, overall. A lot of leg, got both claws, just a couple little missing pieces and that's it. Pretty decent crab for a B grade crab. Now on to mama crab.